Testing of well water will begin soon in an area surrounding the DuPont Chambers Works plant in Salem County. The company has agreed to test for a contaminant that's been called a likely carcinogen. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers reports. Deep water in nearby Pennsville and Penns Grove could be called company towns. People living in these Salem County communities are either employed or know someone who works at DuPont's Chambers Works plant. There's concern about jobs in the environment here. Porfluorotonic acid, or PFOA, is used at the facility. An Environmental Protection Agency board has called the substance that's used in Teflon and as a stain resistant a likely carcinogen. DuPont has voluntarily agreed to test 58 private drinking wells within a two-mile radius of the plant for PFOAs. The chemical has already been discovered in the wells of the local water company. At the town supermarket, there is concern. What's the harmful amount? No one knows. We could be drinking it now and no one knows and then maybe 15 or 10 years from now, here we go. We have a health problem because of this. My concern is we're drinking this chemical and, you know, what is it doing to us? We have a high rate of cancer down here. Is that the problem? DuPont says it will provide drinking water for any homeowner whose well has a high level of PFOAs. But the argument may come over what is an appropriate safety level. The company says it will replace the supply when wells show levels above 0.5 parts per billion. The state DEP recently recommended that New Jersey American Water reduce the PFOA levels to meet an even stricter level, the toughest in the country. The advisory was based on recent studies showing the chemical lasts longer in the human body than in animals. We felt that it was important to have some guidance level out there to help water utilities and other people and other people uh, make decisions about how to best uh, address the problems when they see it. But the chemical industry opposes that recommendation, saying the DEP didn't follow the state's Administrative Procedures Act and take public testimony. That's the law. That's what they're supposed to do. That way they get viable scientific comment to come into the process and they can look at all sides of the issue. In this case, they haven't done it. So we're saying go back to the drawing board and do it right. Bozarth also says other states have adopted standards for PFOAs in water that are not as strict as New Jersey. The state DEP says it will await the test results before deciding what corrective actions need to be taken. It depends on how we look at those wells and how we would make determinations on how well they might be cleaned up or not cleaned up based on the long-term exposure versus short-term exposure on how to deal with that problem. In a 2004 court settlement, DuPont agreed to pay more than $100 million to West Virginia residents who accused the company of contaminating local water supplies with PFOAs. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Deepwater.